What up guys from the lovers of the cubic world? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome. How are you doing everybody? Oh, can I get out? <laughs> Here I am. Hey, it's so good to see you. It's so great to see you finally again in this amazing Let's Play series that we have in the channel. Uh, yeah, it's been a while since the last episode of this. Even I have lost the, the continuity of what we were doing before. Uh, but today, today we have a lot of plants and very good plants as well. You know, I'm holding these two diamond blocks because it's amazing, guys. You did it. <laughs> 400 subscribers. I couldn't be happier. And, well, unfortunately, I haven't done a, a 400 subscriber special yet because I need seven stacks of these shiny, shiny blocks. And so far, I have only almost three stacks. Uh, I've been mining. I've been using the new tunnel board, as you saw in the little intro that we did. <laughs> and it's been it's been very boring. Get it? Tunnel board? Boring? Yeah. <laughs> oh, so sorry about that. Um, so it hasn't happened because I need so many diamonds and I need so many of these iron raw iron blocks. I need like I think two shulker boxes of these ones, um, because if you are a long time viewer, then you might probably know that every hundred subscribers we make a custom map art, and yeah, the last one was not uh, not too long ago actually, which I'm very happy. It was in October, the Halloween uh, the Halloween time. And yeah, as you can see, we have the 100 subscribers, the 200 subscribers, and the 300 subscribers. Each map in increasing quality. Um, yeah, <laughs> and I love the Halloween map. And yeah, it was hard to top, to top, but I think I managed to do it with the 400 subscriber map. And I mean, needing seven stacks of uh, diamond blocks... It, it tells you something, right? <laughs> it's gonna be good, guys. It's gonna be good, I promise. But unfortunately, of course, I don't have that uh, many diamonds just yet. So we haven't been able to uh, build the 400 subscribers map just yet. But let me tell you guys, I'm so, so happy. I'm, I really appreciate all of you that have subscribed. And if you are one of the new guys, uh, well, consider subscribing. Consider checking out... What do we post uh, usually in the channel? It's pretty cool. And consider subscribing because, yeah, pretty soon we're going to have those diamonds. We're going to have that uh, much iron. And we're going to be able to tear down this map and replace it with the amazing 400 subscribers one. Now that I've been away, like, for almost six months, doesn't mean that I'm actually... That I have actually been away, really, guys. As you know, I love to play Minecraft. Oh! those pillagers <laughs> and yeah I love to do projects and of camera projects well they are as big as the on camera ones I guess because look at this this is one of the things that I've been doing off camera I designed uh, from scratch and actually I did it in survival which is more impressive to me actually because I never decided to farm in survival, but I did it and it was hard, especially with all of these guys shooting at me. Let me get <laughs> behind this glass because it's annoying. Uh, so we're gonna, we'll go in, in, in the cheaty cam. Uh, this is a pillager farm and it was just to make it easier for me to get the bad omen whenever we want to use our raid farm. Which, yeah, I really want to, to build a new raid farm. Uh, I said I wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> I changed my opinion, you know how it goes. Completely improvised in survival and it really makes it easier to get the bad open. All the little drops are getting burnt in this fire, of course, because we don't need crossbows. Who needs filthy crossbows? Um, but this is not the only project that I've been busy with. And yeah, if we come through this portal like 20 rockets uh, later... <laughs> Look at that, guys. It keeps growing until there. <laughs> yeah, I've been also uh, expanding our cactus farm. This is this has taken me already hours upon hours. And I have recorded every single second of it in the replay mod. Uh, of course, yeah, that's going to be a heavy replay. And I don't want to show it to you guys until it's completely done. We are pretty close to build height. 
Uh, if we use a few rockets, uh, will we make it? Yes, yes, I think so. Perfect. So if we see our Y coordinate, it's 276. I believe that the new limit, the new height limit, uh, in Minecraft is 319 blocks. So we're almost there, like 30 blocks to go. Oh, wrong button. And <laughs> this farm will be done. For those of you who are new to the channel, uh, I love doing farms. I love doing redstone. Even though this is not a redstone farm. Oh, the lag. You can feel the FPS dropping. <laughs> yeah, even though this is not a redstone farm per se, um, I just wanted something like a landmark to have in this uh, area which we call farm to land. Oh, it started raining. <laughs> I hate rain. Uh, so yeah, you can see here is the farm to see land and This was supposed to be like a fantasy land of only redstone farms and redstone mechanisms But as you can see it's looking quite Empty, uh, I think it's the word uh, We've put a lot of hours into making the terrain only get uh, Concrete powder where did this come from? Oh, I hate underman. I hate underman um, And yeah, we've covered it uh, like half of it at least oh goodness i forgot about the raid thing i i brought my milk to get rid of the of the bad omen i forgot guys by the way how how does how look does it words how cool does it look my new cave my new 15 and in minecraft anniversary cave with the creeper head it's amazing you can get yours too of course um if you are uh, in time for it. Uh, where are these guys? I'm gonna have to defeat a raid now, guys. <laughs> because I'm stupid. Anyways, raids aren't too difficult. I have an episode where this exact thing uh, or similar thing happened to us. And I started a raid in this very spot and I died quite a few times. Uh, but that was a long time ago. I didn't even have like, my gear, I think, completely uh, enchanted or anything. Well, that was so easy, guys. I totally didn't just pop like six totems in the fight. These are the two last guys remaining, I think. Hopefully, Raiders remaining one. Oh, come on. I hate Enderman, did I mention that? <laughs> oh, they always are just stealing my blocks. Anyways, where's the raider remaining? Found it! He's hiding here in the corner. Oh, we're finally done with the raid, I think. So, yeah, that's a cool way to start the episode. <laughs> uh, as I was saying before, we were interrupted. This is the fantasy land, and I built this thing kind of like a farm, uh, well, a fantasy land, but made out of farms and contraptions, because I wanted to decorate it with fantastic uh, beings and and buildings and stuff, right? Like, for example, the first building that we did here that is kind of uh, in that theme is this mecha villager head. It's sort of like a robot villager, like a giant robot villager from a previous civiliz civilization that just perished for some reason and disappeared and yeah one of the remainings is this big head that uh we are now using to store some more villagers we have our turtle sanctuary right here to breed the turtles get the scoots um we have a a sea seagrass farm right here i don't even know if i had shown you this guys this is one of the newer things Oh, you know what I haven't shown you, I think? Down here, guys, this is another new thing. Look at this. We have finally another honey farm. Uh, I've been using it because I need the honey for some projects. Uh, so it's completely empty at the moment. And it's turned off, as you can see. And if we ha want more bees, we also have a honeycomb slash bee farm right here to breed them and to produce honeycomb automatically. Right now it's turned off as well because of the uh, honey blocks in front of the things. But yeah, this is gonna allow us to make more contraptions using honey blocks because lately I've been avoiding it. 
Let's dump all our stuff, all, our, all of our junk right by the sheep farm, which is another uh, old project that I reactivated because I needed some uh, wool for the map art as well. Uh, we, we have all that we need already. But for today's episode, guys, anyways, um, yeah, we want to build something finally in this farm to see land, something big as well. Um, I want to get onto the decoration of this of this area because so far it's looking quite dull. I like the oh that ravager or those ravagers. Yeah, they completely decimated my leaves. So today I want to start with something simple, something quick, something that it did took me a bit uh, of time to design and to get right uh, quite right. But yeah, it's not something too complicated that. Uh, well, scares me, I guess, because I've been too scared to decorate the area because I don't know how to uh, do it. So I guess I just have to start building, right? How do I reactivate this? There we go. Look at this. It's a octopus. It's an octopus. So yeah, we're going to be building it. And I know I just spoil you the build. <laughs> uh, but... To be honest, I didn't want to do a timeless for it, so I guess we'll just do a little a little loop around and get it done. And like that, guys, I give you Bert the Octopus. Oh, that's right, guys. Uh, we did it, we built it, we decorated finally this little bit of the farm to see land with a very nice magical creature, mystical creature, however you want to call it. It's a giant octopus, guys, and I think it turned out good with all the mixture of wool and concrete and purple and the blue spots and, of course, the googly eyes in the front of its, of its head. But, yeah, I think it turned out pretty good. I really like him. And, as you can see, I, I built it here in, like, this little gulf of water because it makes sense, guys. It makes sense, and you can see it from the farm to see land and... AA can see you from the far from the ocean, so it's good. But as you can see, we have these rocks back here, which kind of break up the the tide of the of the the ocean, the waves. And then we have this little uh, deeper section of the of the gulf here, where a giant octopus can really fit in there and live um, quite comfortably. I, I would I would imagine. Bird here wasn't the only thing that appeared with the magical twist. As you can see, two shulker boxes of black concrete have depleted from my storage and now are placed here um, in the form of squares. And this is just uh, area delimiters for what we were going to build uh, in the pharmacy land. As I said, I want to commit to decorating it and building all the farms that we need and whatnot. So yeah, we needed a little bit of organization. So uh, for example, here the laboratory, it's delimited with this with this square. It wasn't needed because the laboratory is already built. But yeah, I wanted to include it. Uh, let me get out some rockets. Then this square is for the animal-based farm. So we would build the, or we would move the wool farm over here, uh, the bees. Or the bee farms are here at the side of the cliff, as you can see. Um, I didn't include the turtle farms over there because they're too far away and they're kind of in their own island, right? And we have this big forest that I decided was fitting for tree farms. So I built the first one, guys. No time lapse, no anything. I'm just gonna show it right now because, yeah, I've already built it in the Vapor SMP, so you can check the time lapse over there in the. I think it was the last or previous to last episode of the Vapors and Beep. And the only thing that I did differently was the bone mill farm, the big bone mill farm that you can download the Limatic schematic from that episode in the Vapors and Beep because it's a, it's a big one because this, this farm eats bone mill like crazy guys. So anyways, I built the bone mill farm separated from the farm in the natural, natural uh, kind of section. We have the cactus farm, the sea beagle farm, and we have to move the cobblestone farm to where the block-based farm, farms are. Um, but yeah, this uh, this uh, farm eats bone mill like crazy, so we need the bone mill farm, the, like the big one. And the only thing that I did differently from the papers and B is that I put a shulker box unloader with the, with the shulkers full of uh, bone mill to be unloaded here. And yeah, the only the only thing that I will have to do is run the bone mill farm 
uh, first and then bring the shulkers onto that farm and maybe in the future we'll make like a little wire stream or something that takes them there automatically. As you can see here at the bottom of the bone mill farm we have a shulker loader, it's a pretty standard one. Uh, I modified it a little bit of course and uh, I'm in the process of building a chunk loader here so that I don't have to be here while loading the, the bone mill farm because every hour we need at least five shulker boxes full of bone mill to run that huge clay farm. Uh, but it's worth it because it, it will give us clay uh, that we can turn into terracotta. If we need root and dirt, it will give us that. And it will give us mud as well, which is a pretty pretty cool decoration block. And the most important thing, it will give us a lot of uh, oak logs, uh, which I use like quite a, quite a bunch of because of the, of the crafting recipes of the hoppers, the chests, the composters, everything that uses wood, which is basically everything in Minecraft, right? <laughs> So hopefully this farm will provide us with that. Um, I still need to build a storage system for this. And yeah, I'm not gonna power it up right now because we are about to start our project of today, guys. So that's right, none of this is the project of today. No, 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 this is just uh, the pre-work that we have to, to do for the project of today. And that's because it's a big one. I wanted to make a big return for the Let's Play series. And so this project is a big one. I know I shouldn't start a new project because I have like countless of projects that are not finished. Uh, but that's where we roll. Th that's how we roll, guys. That's how we roll. And we're starting a new one. And hopefully we will finish it at some point. <laughs> so now that we have a decent source of wood, I will not tease you anymore, guys. The new project is a storage room. Um, or a storage system, I, I should say. Because, let's be honest guys, my little tiny house here, it's not gonna <laughs> be able to fit any more shulker boxes. Um, and barrels, apparently. Uh, so yeah, I even have some out here now, which is not great guys. But yeah, now that we have some wood, we can actually get to designing and building a new storage system to basically sort this problem out because I've already been using shulker boxes to say, to store some of my items here in the barrels and that's not even enough guys however a storage system is a huge project especially if I want one that will last me a few years at least hopefully <laughs> so I'm not taking it lightly no 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 uh, and that means that I really have to think about everything because we don't want a storage system that it's small like this one. No, we want the ultimate storage system. Now, considering that there are tons of things that we got to think about before uh, building the storage system, today I won't get to actually building the actual storage. Uh, plus, I don't want to really delay the episode any longer. It's been six months. <laughs> uh, but I have been tinkering with some redstone and some designs and I think I have decided in some on some good ones still a lot of things missing but before I actually show them to you guys I want to ask you something I've been struggling to decide on which location to build the storage system so which location do you think would be good for the storage system because we can build it in one of our bases those being obviously the jungle village that is quite laggy already uh we have the rainbow city which is so far just a lighthouse and a museum really <laughs> uh but hey at least there is some space we have the farm to see land which is going to house a ton of redstone already and obviously the villager mall which is our most recent project that is still in construction but it also is gonna have its own storage system and it's gonna be quite laggy I assume as well so each of them is a good option I think but I think they already have something important and something relevant uh, that makes them what they are and yeah or at least they will have at some point something important inside and most of them are gonna be or are already quite laggy like the jungle village over here uh, so if I can I would like to make it in another entirely new location basically some other ideas that I had are somewhere in the end because uh, well 
there's nothing there and uh, yeah it's it's basically empty space that we can use but that does mean that I would need to build a way to get to the location and back from the location very fast and also to deal with Enderman which I don't know if, I've, if I have told you this guys but I hate Enderman <laughs> Um, another idea is over the ocean, which would open some unique possibilities for decoration, I think, for uh, building around the, the storage system, but it would make building quite a hassle. And yeah, my third idea is recently I found a, a brand new location in this world, which is a mushroom island. This is it's a very small mushroom island. But it is a mushroom island, in, uh, like, after all. That would mean that no mobs would bother us while we're building, and also we wouldn't have to spawn most of the storage system, because I imagine that the storage system will actually be bigger than the mushroom island. But I'm not sure, I'm not sure, guys. Um, so if any of these locations sound good to you, let me know. And if you have any other ideas, I would love to hear them too, because I'm really struggling with this one. But finally guys, the part that you've been waiting for all video, <laughs> the actual storage, right? The actual project. Uh, so I've spent quite a few hours in this uh, creative test world, actually probably a week already. <laughs> uh, tinkering with some redstone, I've uh, built some stuff, I've destroyed some stuff, and yeah, many, many little things are here. Um, but I think, I think I finally have a design that I really like for the storage system and it is this one. Um, so if you know my channel and you've been watching for a bit, you might know that I love uh, shulker box redstone contraptions. So for example loaders, loop on loaders and all that kind of stuff. And I have several in my channel. Well the last one that I posted I think it was the 100% reliable one. But apparently, the guys at the storage tech Discord said that it was not really 100% reliable. At least not uh, like everywhere I think it was locational. And also in some edge cases that uh, it wouldn't uh, work very good. So I had to design a new shulker loader. <laughs> uh, where's the design right here? No, that's not it. Uh, apparently I destroyed it at some point guys, but I have rebuilt it. Here it is. This is my new design. Uh, it looks a little bit bulky, but it has so many features guys. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm not gonna get into too many details right now because I plan to make a tutorial on this very soon. Uh, but it has the dispenser here for the, for the empty shulkers. Then it has the hopper here to fill it in. Um, then we were reading it with this concrete powder, this technique I had used before, but um, yeah, not too often. Uh, for this one, I decided to use it again because it's actually quite versatile. Um, then we have the hopper that we are locking. So this is called a precision uh, locking technique or mechanic that basically you unlock the hopper right when the shulker gets broken by the piston and that way it makes it 100% reliable this time. <laughs> um, I knew about this mechanic before, but um, I thought like with the cobwebs and all of that, you could mimic this same mechanic, but make it a little bit easier to design. Um, still, I think it's quite a good design, this one. Um, then we are also locking this other hopper right here for when the dropper uh, dispenses the shulker box. So we have two, two hoppers being precision locked. Um, I think it's pretty good. Of course, you don't really need this part if you don't want to do it, but yeah, just to have it like um, as it should be. It's actually three takes there. Um, yeah, you, you, we are also looking that hopper. And I think that's the basic uh, overview of the system. And as you can see, I've made like the whole slice of what would uh, what we would build in our storage system. Sorry, it's 2 a.m. in the morning. I cannot really talk that good. Uh, but I really want to get this video out. So um, we have a, 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 a normal sorter, a classic sorter up here uh, using packed ice to basically slide all the items in so that they pick up, they get picked up by the hoppers. Then we have our shulker box loader, which we have to place a shulker manually. 
shouldn't be too much of a problem because we have like a little uh, pathway here with the re with the repeaters where we can walk uh, on and then place the shulk boxes. Um, by the way, this is not in the original design, but I decided uh, since we are locking all the hoppers and it basically reduces lag by a bunch, I tried to lock as many hoppers as I could. So as you can see, these two are locked. This one is locked. Uh, you were using these repeaters to lock this one and then this one. By the way, this is where the shulker boxes uh, are. So this is a line of hoppers that will be full of shulker boxes. Uh, we can do that. We have a lot of shulker boxes. Then we have this hopper locked as well. With this hopper locked as well. I couldn't lock this hopper uh, because, yeah, it was very difficult. And then this one's back down here. The only one that is locked is this one, unfortunately. But I think uh, for for the whole system, it's pretty good. I mean, only three hoppers that are not locked. Oh, I keep confusing this system with this one. Anyways, uh, so the empty shulker box goes there. It starts filling up. And actually, I have a fill, uh, full one over here so that you can see the system in action. There we go. And the, the shulker will uh, remain on this hopper until a new one comes. Then it will get uh, dispensed by the dropper and into somewhere over here. Oh, here we go. Into this uh, dropper. Now this is a, a little shulker display that I that I designed. It's not too good, as you can see, it's quite uh, bulky, it's quite a big thing. Uh, here I have the design. This is after many iterations and I decided on this one. We are also look, uh, using uh, precision locking for this uh, hopper. So if we place, let's place one of these uh, in here. Uh, so this shulker has just one item, so this is basically so that we can uh, access the items uh, of the bulk system even when we are not, um, or when we don't have the, well, we don't want full shulker boxes, basically. Uh, so if we get the item out of there and we empty the shulker box and new one gets dispensed, the precision locking makes it, locking makes it 100% uh, reliable on picking the shulker box. And I even included this note block here in case we want the shulker box partially full. There we go, we grab it and a new one gets dispensed. So I think it's pretty cool. Um, I'm not locking these hoppers, unfortunately. I wanted to lock at, this, uh, at least this one, but I couldn't manage to do it. And to be honest, I'm very tired already. I've already spent quite a lot of time in this world. Uh, maybe I will keep tinkering with it, but for now, this is fine by me. Uh, and so yeah, this is a shulker display and we can also access this large chest back here so that we can see any other shulker, any other full shulker boxes that we have in the system. Now this is for the stackable items that we have in bulk. So for example, stone, dirt, all of those items that we have a lot of and we want to pack them in shulker boxes. But for example, the ones that are like more rare in the world, uh, we don't want to use that kind of system because we're not gonna be able to even have a shulker box uh, of many of the items. So instead, I'm gonna use my uh, own design for a multi-item uh, multi sorter. So this is my first design that I did like years ago when I was starting uh, with advanced redstone per se. And I modified it a little bit in this world. So we are using dropper baiters. These are silent dropper baiters. I did try with instant uh, wiring and instant droppers, but apparently they are uh, locational and directional. So yeah, I, I instead just st st uh, stuck with the with the uh, silent ones. They're not instant, but they're fast anyways. The way this system works, and actually you can see the tutorial in my channel, it's uh, over there, is you, full, you fill the, the chest with whatever items you want to sort. For example, um, I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do like two stacks per items, maybe three for each item uh, in the actual storage once we have it in the, in the Let's Play world. I also changed this part over here because I didn't like the, the one with the dropper. It was quite a uh, quite a hassle to build. <laughs> so instead I just did uh, like full uh, comparative repeaters and torches. So like old redstone as I like to call it. And as you can see, it basically limits the, the input of items to a little bit slower than hopper speed because yeah, otherwise the whole system fails. 
and then we are sorting all of them uh, in here so we had 12 there are the 12 and for example on the next slides we have observers so if we put observers in here you very soon will see that these observers start triggering there we go and as you can see you can hear nothing because the whole thing is silent and it keeps the speed which is uh, an improvement over the, the previous design and it starts sorting all of the observers in here as you can see and the same with whichever items if we have any items that are not in the system they will end up in these chests here at the, at the very far right I also included the lights here just to have like a like a, a uniformity basically um, but yeah these these are not sorting any items they're just grabbing whatever uh, it's not in the system so here are all the sets that we're getting uh, sorted into the the last chest basically and so that's it for the redstone that i have uh, so far actually no that's not it guys <laughs> Um, also, I wanna, yeah, with the, with this locking mechanism, this is not too important, but with this locking mechanism, we of course need to unlock the hoppers once we want to use the system. So I figure out something as simple as this would work, so if we put some items in here, it starts uh, the, the clock with this, with this uh, pulse extender. It unlocks uh, all the hoppers, so we have like lights of redstone unlocking all of the hoppers. And yeah, it waits till the barrel is uh, empty or the chests or whatever the input is gonna be in our system. And after a while, it unlock it locks all the hoppers once again. So pretty simple redstone overall, I think. Um, yeah, all designed by myself, of course. And I really like it. I really like it. Hopefully soon we will have a location to build the system, and hopefully we will have a pretty big and pretty cool system and storage system very soon there's a lot of uh, more features that i want to add to the storage system but for now this is all guys for today hopefully you liked the episode hopefully it wasn't too long uh, we did a lot of things but i think i i edited it well so that we uh, packed them all into a not too long episode but anyways guys hopefully you enjoyed if you did don't forget to like the video down in uh of the like button <laughs> sorry it's too late guys um and also consider subscribing if you like the content and yeah check out the the rest of the content in the channel because we have some cool stuff anyways thank you so so much for watching thank you for so much for the 400 subscribers um and yeah hopefully we will have the 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 diamonds and all the materials for the map very soon for the special but for now this is it guys i'll see you in the next one have a great week have a great day and goodbye